Predictive wind shear uses wind velocity data gathered by the Doppler weather radar system to identify wind shear conditions ahead of the aircraft. The Doppler weather radar begins scanning automatically when the aircraft descends below 2,300 feet AGL. Alerts are shown on the navigation display when the aircraft is below 1,200 feet AGL. On the ground, when takeoff thrust is set, the Doppler radar turns on automatically to provide wind shear takeoff warning coverage out to three nautical miles ahead of the aircraft. In flight, warning coverage is provided 1.5 nautical miles ahead of the aircraft, and caution coverage is always provided out to three nautical miles. This is the predictive wind shear symbol. When active, it is shown on the navigation display in the expanded map, center map, VOR, or approach modes. The amber predictive wind shear symbol radials help identify and locate the wind shear relative to aircraft position. The red predictive wind shear symbol shows the approximate size of the wind shear. In an area of thunderstorm activity, setting weather on the EFAS control panel will not show a predictive wind shear event until the aircraft is below 1,200 feet AGL. During a predictive wind shear alert, normal weather returns will also be shown. Observe the difference between the two. Like the weather mode, predictive wind shear is not shown in the plan mode centered VOR mode, centered approach or ILS modes. Monitor radar display. If a wind shear condition is found in the caution region, an oral alert monitor radar display sounds. The amber wind shear alert shows on the ND. Monitor radar display. and the position of the wind shear is shown on the map display. Go around. Wind shear ahead. If the wind shear is found in the warning area, an oral warning go around wind shear ahead sounds. The red wind shear alert shows on the navigation display. Go around. Wind shear ahead. The wind shear symbol is shown on the navigation display, and the wind shear alert is shown on the attitude indicators. If wind shear is found ahead of the aircraft during takeoff below 1,200 feet AGL, the voice alert wind shear ahead sounds with a wind shear alert shown on the navigation display. Wind shear ahead. Wind shear ahead. The position of the predicted wind shear is shown on the navigation displays, and the wind shear warning alert is shown on the attitude indicator. If the aircraft enters a wind shear condition, predictive wind shear is inhibited, but a warning is still provided by the reactive wind shear system. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. The reactive wind shear warning consists of a two-tone siren followed by wind shear repeated three times and a red wind shear alert shows on the attitude indicators. When a wind shear alert is active, all other ground proximity modes are inhibited until the wind shear conditions are no longer detected. Here are the differences between predictive and reactive wind shear. Take a moment to review the information.